show you how to import a trajectory into Stringnosis Online. So the first thing that we need to do is upload our Excel file, which has our trajectory data to the server or the upstream server that is um, providing the um, Stringnosis 2.9 image. So we'll go into the upstream options up here, click the third option, my files. I'm gonna go into my home folder, into my demo files, and I'm gonna upload a file here. So coming to upload files, what I'm gonna find is an Excel file that I've already formatted in an appropriate format for lining up a trajectory. And we all know how to do that. But when we see the file in a second, um, it will highlight exactly what we need to include in here. So now that I've uploaded the file to the server, I can import it into String Gnosis like we normally would do on the String Gnosis desktop version. So I come across import from Excel and we're going for a trajectory this time. So I'll import the trajectory. I'm gonna to go to my demo files and my HPHT demo.xlsx file is there. I'm gonna click open and then String Gnosis is gonna open that file within itself without the need for an Excel or an Excel license. The first row where we start the data is gonna be row two from this data here. What I did was I just lined up on the worksheet only MD inclination and azimuth because that's all that we need to calculate the trajectory. Then I'm going to match up these columns with the data here. So MD is in feet, so I'm going to keep it in feet, and that's going to be column A. Inclination is column B. Azimuth is column C. And you see that we've color-coded things. And then I click OK. Successfully imported trajectory results. Um, record, sorry. Uh, depths in feet and inclination and azimuth in degrees. Click OK. And there we see that it's in um imported the data that we needed. We can check this, we can come into trajectory and see that it's imported our data here. Just be aware that before you prepare the data, before you import the data, you need to prepare it because the servers that run Stringnosis for on AWS AppStream do not have Excel installed on them. A word of note that on the import um, tab, what we can do is import pore pressure, fracture gradient, undisturbed temperature, trajectory, all lithology, we import it exactly the same way as we just did for the trajectory. Thanks for listening. I'm Pete Lumley with Blade Technology.